Hi, Panditji, Namaste, Anubrataji. Uh, do you guys know the time in Calcutta? Hi, Zakir, uh, Namaste. The time in Calcutta is 9.21 p.m. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what do each of you like about visiting Toronto? If you ask me honestly, I like the food in Toronto. That's that's why every time I go back there and uh, the city is beautiful. And then, uh, you know, with Ravi Ji, with Ravi Nayampalli Ji, when, whenever we are in Toronto, we stay there and he takes, he and his family takes so amazing care of us. So that's why my love for Toronto has increased over the years. What, uh, what about you, Pandaji? Yes, I, li I like, definitely, since long time I'm visiting Toronto and I like, and Ravi is there. If Ravi is not there, then my mood is a little bit maybe not in right rhythm, but Ravi is always there and his family, because, you know, we are, closed to the this family since maybe I knew his parents, I know how many, 40 years before or more like that, you know. Uh, do either of you have any favorite places you like to go in Toronto? Well, as a kid, I... Tower, like tower. Yeah, so so as a kid, I loved CN Tower, and then you know the downtown was beautiful, and then a uh, lot of things. I mean, to be to be very specific, uh, you know, Toronto is a beautiful city, and then it has a lot of subcontinental vibe because there is such a huge population of Indians, Pakistanis, uh, Canadians who have been there for generations, but you know their origins are from my like my side of the world so you feel great there is a connect uh, through music through food common cultures people are very friendly and Ca canada the country is uh, you know they're really nice and beautiful and they're very friendly the the general vibe and also i like the kid the you know so many times i perform the audience of toronto amazing they knows how to appreciate and Indian classical music is very popular and you know so many musicians in Toronto is a really important city of uh, America Canada you know uh, multi uh, it's very multicultural yeah it is uh, what do you miss about that what do you miss that you can't do because of the pandemic and the lockdown? Well, I miss a lot of things, but the most basic thing that I miss is to, you know, go out in the open without a mask, you know, get the sun, sun or the wind coming to your face, which we have all done all our lives. So that is something I really hope and pray to the almighty that, you know, it comes back someday if I can go out in my city or any other city without a mask, I will feel very lucky, keeping think, the present condition. I, I think all of us miss that. Uh -huh. What about you, Panditji? Yeah, yeah, same thing, you know, but I am missing the, the live, live concert in all over. I had to, I had to cancel my, you know, America, Canada trip in which I supposed to go uh, visit in March, last March. So this situation, but I'm doing a lot of things in music in home with, uh, you know, Anubrata is here. Uh, he lives mostly in Bombay, those area, but in this uh, couple of, yeah. uh, almost one year he is with me and, you know, is go, 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 getting better because all of us is together and you know I am doing composing many many good composition and listening music uh, and doing riyaz you know riyaz practice and research you, that you know in the public you know we all we all talk about what we miss and all but one thing that has really 
benefited me in the lockdown that's the only thing that has is because of the lockdown there is ample amount of time and that time i can spend with my parents and you know my father happens to be my guru so when you are at home and you don't have a schedule then you know you whenever your guru is in the right mode you know he can he he would just walk in and you know tell give me some tips about tabla which otherwise in my normal traveling uh, times or even his traveling times that those things won't happen so a lot of you know detailing of uh, music and ideas and family time is there uh what will you both be presenting in the riyaz music festival Oh, you know something, uh, Guruji, uh, my father, he has prepared a very special dhamar. Actually, he can tell about it. What is, you know, what, what is his idea of dhamar? How he has presented. Baba, would you tell us a little bit of dhamar? How you uh, have thought? I, I played uh, separately dhamar, okay, and dhamar tal is fourteen bits, and this is very special. And Ono Prato also played some other tal uh, separately, and we. Together we played the dal, modalai, modalai tempo, middle tempo, and drut fast. Mm -hmm. But dhamar, especially, you know, what I wanted to uh, present, and I did for the uh, cream of the tabla listeners in the world, whole world, that I tried to maintain that uh, what my teacher used to say that that character of the tala you should maintain the character of the tala so dhamar tal tal is character is like you know very heavy and is like elephant you know he says ka dhe te dhe te dha ga di ne di ne ta ka 14 bits beautiful so what i wanted to you know i presented i recorded it is to maintain that character and essence of the tala with pakhawaj essence pakhawaj you know one piece of drum you have you have seen and uh, this is actually pakhawaj tala pakhawaj king tala so i wanted to present in tabla that maintain the clarity of course and the character of the tala is heroic you know so i maintained all the pakhawaj composition sometimes it's ending with kat kat is the landing first beat of dhamar kat the so i try to maintain you know all the compositions to initiate that so that is i am sure my listeners will like this dhamar this kind of special dhamar i tried but you know yeah. definitely it will be my guru ji used to say that you you cannot maintain that tabla essence in dhamar it is too light it is like <clears throat> so you have to you have to present like the elephant the hero heroic presentation so that was special and the, uh, i played kaida rela and lot of different different kind of gat in dhamar and we played together in tintal some beautiful kaidas of azrana in different different schools delhi and punjab and many rare compositions of maestros maybe 200 years old maybe 300 years old you know those compositions we played together sometimes separately some sawal jawab means question and answer you know it was very interesting the the recording very interesting yeah and i played uh, rupak which is seven beats and then uh, you know the, for for the last 7 8 months where where i have literally shifted to calcutta from bombay just staying for the time being uh, good baba gave me a lot of taleem of jhaptal and rupak and uh, 
taali meaning not only specific bowls but general ideas how can you how can you flow in rupak not preparing stuff in in the form of peshkar in the form of different chants different different ideas so those things uh, you know were were in my head and i wanted to you know try something i hope it is up to the mark and you know all of you and the listeners like it and especially you know when when you're playing just before like a spearhead a maestro a legend like my father it's you know very hard to even be noticeable so i i'm just praying to the almighty that may you know my rupak is just about up to the mark so that you know it doesn't create a problem for dhamar um anubrata ji what is it like to play with your father play tabla with your father actually you know before uh, when i was uh, about your age it was a little difficult because uh, i would get a shock my father would show me all the love at home and the moment he's on stage he's a different man he would look at me in a different way so i i wouldn't be enjoying those times but now when i play with him you know he gives me tips and everything so though it's a little uh, consuming to be with him because you're with your guru at the same time he's your father but uh, you know certain tips he he's he's a person who uh, is the best guru when you are with him on stage and he's at his best so it's like teaching a little cub how to hunt like like a lion takes a little cub how to teach us how to hunt so you can actually see a demonstration a live demonstration so 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 nowadays it's actually fun i enjoy and then i try to understand what he's trying to say with his tabla Do you either of you remember what it was like when you were my age? Yeah, I do. When I was your age, uh, I had no interest in tabla and my parents were ge- genuinely very uh, uh, worried about, you know, the fact that you know he's like I was a bad uh, I was not really good in studies. I wouldn't say bad, but not really keen to study. So they were really worried that, you know, what is this kid going to do? so my mom came up with the idea that uh, you know when whenever my father plays tabla solos he takes me alongside so that you know there is a pressure so 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 that worked because first couple of concerts i was badly embarrassed because i didn't practice and then you know with my dad being there and with his fans there it's like a different level he is playing and you know he there going crazy so just to be there on stage if you cannot deliver it gets very embarrassing so out of that fear i started to develop myself to a point where at least i can you know save myself i don't get embarrassed so 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 that is the you know that's how it started what about you pandit ji i started um uh, at the age of two or three just opposed it on over and my life was different i was in a remote village i was born in and my house was there a uh, very remote village from from is 40 kilometers far from calcutta and you know it was when i was born and brought up there was very <coughs> you know those time it was uh, much more difficult than me because only the local train you can go and it takes one and a half hours to go there with with overcrowded people yeah so i was but the other way was my uncle i told you uh let bishana ji he inspired not only inspired he supported uh to for me is lot of support means not the financial support to learn to be to reach in a high quality so he helped up to whenever before he stayed up to that time i mean he was very strict and very uh disciplined man and yeah. uh, anyway that was different and it, it was no television those time no radio radio was there but electricity was not there so 
I was my my time was different, you know, than now. Okay. You know, but eventually after after uh, my twenty seven years old, I I came to Calcutta, and then my other uh, you know life started again, be different. Because if you not in in the city, so you cannot associate with other musicians. Your teacher to accompany to learn the blah to go to the concert because from the village you cannot you know it's very difficult. Yeah, so, those days there were there was no Uber and nothing was there. <laughs> and last train, you know, at the age of your age. I stayed so many times in this platform all night because last train is gone. Eleven, eleven o'clock was last train. So if you miss, then you have to catch the morning five o'clock train. So oh after the concert or after the listening concert. So those time was different, but I was under strict discipline of my uncle, that Vishwanath ji. I was not that strict to Anubhuta because you know. And he was Not at all. Yeah. Era. Thank you guys for taking the time to do this interview. No hope problem. You guys, no problem. Hope you guys nice stay interview. safe. Nice interview, I was I was really impressed with your you know approach to the interview. Nice. Thank you. Good job. Hope Thank you guys you. stay safe, stay safe and healthy. Thank Bye. you, you you too, and then uh, all the best to Tasha and uh, you and Raviji and you know all the all the yeah. crew members who are working so hard to establish uh, the institution, Riaz Institute, and uh, all all the best to them because I have been knowing you know Ravi Bhai and his institute and his whole idea of music and his work for a long time. So it takes a lot to you know be in a in a city, in a metropolitan city, and to invest full time into tabla, and not only play but also teach, also teach young kids like you and inspire them. That's that in itself is a very credited, cre credible uh, work. So thank you. Thank you. Bye. Namaste. Bye. -bye. Namaste.